to the Fanaticals channel. This is Aaron at the Fly Desk. And tonight I'm going to show you one of my secret weapons in the fly box called the Abigail Angel. This fly has caught a lot of fish for me the past few years. And today I'm going to share it with Fanaticals Nation. So, what we have here is a Daiichi size 8 1270 hook. It's the curved nymph hook that Daiichi makes. Um, I've tied this fly all the way to, down to a size 14. And size 8 is about as big as I'll go on it. I find in fly tying videos, if I tie a little bit bigger, it helps our viewers see exactly what we're doing. And so this fly can represent a minnow or a leech. And we are, will be using for our tail a Sculpin Olive Color Marabou. And I got this particular uh, bag of Marabou at Sportsman's Warehouse. And what I do is I like to keep my tail about the same length as the shank of my hook. And then I wrap my tail all the way to the front of the hook and I start by wrapping very lightly and then I really cinch it down as I come back through. Now with this curved hook I will take it the marabou and I will go down about where it starts to bend right where the barb is. Okay. So once I got that, I'll go ahead and wrap back through the head of the fly. And then I like to put a little bit of sparkle in the tail. Whoops. What I'll do is I'll just put one down one side, cut it just barely longer than the tail or than the marabou. Then I'll take another strip and I will go down the other side and do the same. Okay, so I am now to that point. Now what we will do is I'm going to be using <coughs> Simicil dubbing. Uh, this is the Arizona brand in Canadian olive. And as you can see, it's kind of a brown olive color. And I've told you before on my dubbing, I like to use um, 3 aught waxed monocord from Danville because then I don't have to do a dubbing loop and I can simply roll it onto my hook. So with this fly, it's important that you keep your taper. I've had friends that like to call this fly a dubbing bugger as well, and I'm going to show you why. Okay, I like to leave quite a bit of room at the top, and you'll see why here in a second. So now what I do is I take out a wire brush from the local hardware store and I will comb that dubbing out you can see it's already looking really buggy now what I'm going to do is get some burnt orange hackle I have become a believer in burned orange tackle over the last few years and I like to tie it onto my leeches. So what we're going to do is you've got two sides, you've kind of got your dull side and then your shiny side. I put it shiny side up and I wrap 
wrap it just like that. And then what I will do is I will wrap it about four times, three to four times. And I don't get too concerned by the way it looks because you're going to see how I bring it all together. So now I've got some hackle. I actually wrapped my monocord through it just to hold it together good. Then I take my fingers and I pull the hackle back. And I make myself a nice, pretty red thread head. And yes, that does rhyme. So I'm to that point. You can see it's really buggy through the body. Then I put that orange at the top. And I don't know what it is, but when those fish see this semicil dubbing and this burnt orange hackle, it makes them go crazy for it. Like I said, this fly will imitate a leech. It'll imitate a minnow, or it might just attract an impulsive trout looking for something to eat. So the cool thing with this fly is you can either tie it with or without lead. I fish it a lot in the shallows, um, stripping it through um, the grass and the big fish are coming in to feed. And so this particular one, I, I didn't um, weight down. You can also use it with a bead. Um, you can also tie it as an egg sucker. I also think it imitates a, um, what do you call it, a damselfly nymph, you know, cruising around in the, in the shallows. So we're just going to put a little bit of UV glue on it. And there you have it. The Abigail Angel, a custom fly tied by Aaron at the Fly Desk on the Fanaticals channel. Thank you for watching.